Welcome back to Gardener's Cottage YouTube channel. Um, I've just got five minutes while my uh, pudding is cooling. So I've, it's a lovely it's a cool time of the day. So I've popped out into the garden. And I'm going to just do some deadheading. Just focus on deadheading. As you can see, the roses are on this rose plant is ready for a deadhead. So I'm just going to focus completely on deadheading. So I've set the time on my watch. Pop my gloves on so I don't cut myself. Drop my gloves. Right, okay. I've got a nice trug to put the, uh, the cuttings in off the roses. Now I'm going to give them give me quite a radical tidy up. So, this rose is one of the rambling roses on our rose arch, and it just tends to have one huge flush. And then we might get a bit more flower later in the season. Generally, oh, that's another timer that I set going off. I have to go and switch that off, I think, I don't think it'll stop. Oh, let's, let's just get a bit of the rose cut back. Oh, golly. Let's let it plans. It's very nice and noisy anyway. It's a new timer I've just bought. <laughs> I, I certainly hear it, don't you? Because I, I probably might have, because I quite often don't hear the timer on my watch. Um, or feel it. Let's reset that. Let's set it off again. Oh, that's really good. I'll set it for another five minutes because that was a bit distracting, wasn't it? Anyway, that's an absolutely beautiful sunset. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. This is one of my favourite times to garden. Right, I'm going back to the rose arch. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to give this quite a radical haircut because it's looking really scruffy. It's got quite a lot of black spot and it will really benefit from a good tidy up. Just cutting all these back, and then I'm going to put the probably going to put these in the compost bin. I could put them in my brown bin, uh, but I have got lots of compost heaps, and I'm a slow composter, so I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. Uh, it's just quite a relaxing job to do at the end of the day. It doesn't require too much brain power, so it's a nice job to do when you finish work. Just come out in the garden. And be at one with nature. Sometimes I, I listen to an, a if I'm really not in the mood for doing it, I whoops, I listen to a podcast. That wasn't very clever, was it? It's quite difficult gardening and filming at the same time. Probably need to use a tripod. Right, so let's keep going with this. I hope you can see. Just being quite radical with it. What I need to do is take off the, all the flowers that are finished and any sort of dead wood that I spot. You can be really tough with roses. Roses are incredibly forgiving usually. Um, I haven't managed, managed to kill many over the years. Uh, we did manage to kill some by giving them the wrong mulch one year. Uh, my husband inadvertently decided it would be a good idea to put bark chip on them because we'd had some tree works done. Whoops, didn't mean to take that. But unfortunately the bark chip was too fresh and uh, it killed the roses. And they're still sort of vaguely alive, but they've never been the same since. And it's now years later and they still haven't fully recovered. I think it's because it acidifies the soil too much and makes it hard for them to get nutrients. Um, so we won't ever make that mistake again. Uh, it was really costly, we've, we've you know, lost a lot of roses. But bark chip has to be left for several years, ideally. Uh, so that it, it, it loses that sort of, I think, that acidifying process. Um, so I'm very wary of bark chip. Now, I, I, in fact, to be honest, I would have probably only used bark chip on paths where you want it to suppress weed, which is very effective at doing. And the reason is it actually kills things. There's not many things that like growing in bark chip. Right, let's take that bit out. As you can see, it's already looking quite a bit tidier than it was. So I think all that can come out. And you can actually, I'll show you now. There's fresh growth coming. I think that's finished. And I think that's finished and that's finished. Okay, look, if you have a look here, hopefully, let me see if I can, whoops. Let me see if I can pan in. It's quite difficult with gardening gloves on. Okay, if you, you can see the fresh growth coming. So actually I may cut it, when, it, when it's finished flowering here, I may cut it right back to there because that's nice, fresh, healthy growth. 
whereas a lot of the other glaciers are looking quite diseased. Let's pull back a bit, that's better. You can get better view now. Anyway, let's I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna cut most of this out. Look at that, we've got a whole truck full of, of rose clippings. Still quite a lot to take out though. Now the time on my watch is now going off. So I've actually been working on this for five minutes, which is what I said I was gonna do. But I might keep going now I've started and just let my uh, my other timer call me in. I must go after that because I need to have my pudding. All right, there's a bit more here. I'm gonna leave those because they still quite look quite pretty. These don't, these look terrible. These don't look good. Oh, there's a little bit of pink on there. Leave that. The other advantage to taking um, the dead flowers off is you start to notice the really good ones that are still left. Whereas when they're sort of lost in the mass of deadheads, you don't really notice them. So already it's starting to look better. But there's still a lot of deadheads to come out. So I'm going to have to give this, it's going to have to take several goes this. Now my other time is going, which is quite nice because I'm really looking forward to my pudding. And actually, I find it sometimes quite hard waiting for my pudding. I often want to eat it straight away when it's too hot and then burn my mouth. So uh, it's, it's, it's a sticky toffee pudding. There's a real danger of doing that. So this way, I'll actually come out. The garden's got a bit of attention, which uh, it needs because I find it hard to garden when it's so hot. Um, I'm very terrible for ignoring the timer, but this is a very loud timer. Right, okay, all I need to do now is put my snips away, uh, take my clippings to the compost heap, or I might stick them in the brown bin, this is room. Let's get them all, the, all back in the tray. There we are. So let's have a look, let's pull back. So my rose arch is looking a bit tidier. So that's five minutes and that's what I've produced. Oh, and the time has stopped. That's really good. So I'm just going to pop this down to the uh, compost heap and come with me if you like. Go for a little walk around the garden in the evening. There's a lot of cutting back to do. We had a bit of a tidy up around here today because it was looking so nice with the grass cut. Um, and my sunflowers are looking really, really nice on my iris border. So this is our, our hot border. Not quite sure how this purple geranium got in here. It should all be yellow, orange and red in there, but anyway. Uh, somehow it's snuck in. So here's my enormous compost heap. So I'm just, as you see, it gets pretty, uh, it's a pretty slow composting process because it's huge. So I'm going to pop the rose clippings in. Whoops, they will fall straight out. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to get a fork and throw them to the back, I think. Anyway, that's my compost heap. So now, I'm back off to the house for my pudding. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I thought you might be interested to see what you can do in five minutes. And um, now I'm off to spend at least five minutes eating my pudding. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you're enjoying our videos, we'd love it if you would subscribe, like, comment, any questions, gardening questions, cottage questions, house questions, we're always happy to answer. So anyway, night night for now. Bye.